Data engineering is the fastest growing field in data science and tech right now. And companies are paying tons to hire the best talent. In this video, we're going to go over how much you can expect to earn as a data engineer, which companies are paying the most, and how much you can earn as an entry-level data engineer to a senior-level role. According to a study last year by our company Interview Query, we saw that data engineering roles and interviews were growing 40% year over year. So naturally, we wanted to look at the salary data as well. Is it actually increasing at that same rate? Probably not, but you'd be surprised by how much money data engineers make now compared to all the other fields. There's two trends that can explain why salaries are going up. As we said from before, there's definitely a data engineer shortage as the number of jobs are growing, but also more and more companies understand that to actually build out data science and AI systems, we're actually gonna have to need data engineers first to set up the data infrastructure for those systems. Looking at the data, the average data engineer salary has been around $104,000 to $110,000 in the US, while total compensation is at around $190,000 to $200,000. If you're an entry-level data engineer, you can expect to actually make six figures. So entry-level data engineers make around $100,000. But as you gain in experience, you can see that mid-level engineers, which are defined by two to five years of experience, are experiencing around $126,000 on average in base salary. If you go all the way to the senior level, that's gonna be $130,000. If you look at this graph right here, you can tell that the average base salary generally increases a ton in your first five years of experience, but after a while kind of plateaus. And that's where you see more of the money coming from total compensation from these bigger tech companies like Uber, Google, Lyft, you know, all of these that basically pay a lot in terms of their actual stock. But as we know from 2022, when salaries have gone down uh, because of the fact that a lot of these stock markets and stock prices have gone down as well. And so our total compensations have decreased overall. But that doesn't mean data engineer isn't growing in popularity right now. Just because total compensation salaries have gone down doesn't mean that the job market isn't still strong for data engineers and salaries are still high. If we look at data engineer salaries compared to data scientists over the past eight years, we can see that data engineer salaries have actually gone up by 40% since 2015. So the average salary back then was around 100,000, right? And then now the new average salary for 2022 looks like around $140,000. So in actuality, when I was telling you the average data engineer salary, that was average across the last eight years. Data scientists, on the other hand, have grown actually by 15 to 20% over the last eight years instead. And so data engineering is rapidly climbing up to becoming the next hot thing. But what do you actually have to do to obtain these new high salary numbers? Generally, we know from the interview process for a data engineer, most data engineers have to know SQL, uh, coding, leak code, algorithms, types of problems, and then also some data architecture. And the more senior you are, the more that you're gonna be tested in data architecture and the more valuable those skills become. There's not really a specific tool that you need to know that will skyrocket your salaries. I think there's a lot of information out there about how you should be learning the latest and greatest Airflow, if it's Spark, if it's some new thing. Uh, at the same time, uh, they're expecting that you can learn those things on the job. And so those skills and knowledge will help you increase your salary, but that's because of the fact that you gain that experience getting those skills at jobs, not just you taking a certificate online and then suddenly your salary is gonna increase. That being said, how you can increase your salary as a data engineer is to focus on a few things. One is specialization. If you're mastering data engineering tools for stuff like machine learning or scalable uh, data infrastructure for millions or billions of events, that's gonna increase your earnings because the big tech companies like to hire data engineers with that kind of experience, especially when it comes to AI systems as well, because AI needs a ton of data. And so if you can uh, have that experience in terms of scaling out to billions of events or tables and dealing with that size of data, then you're definitely gonna increase your overall potential salary. Another way to increase your salary overall is to look at management. So data engineering career path, obviously there's an IC route where you can increase your uh, skill set and your salary by going up the different individual contributor levels. The last way that you can actually increase your earnings is just to jump ship as a data engineer to a different company. And this is a pretty common way for anyone to actually increase their earnings, especially in a field like data engineering where the role is so hot and the salary keeps on going up. This is a great segue into our next bit on the top companies that pay data engineers the most. If you check out this graph over here, you'll see that Netflix, Airbnb, Stitch Fix, TikTok, DoorDash, these are the companies that pay data engineers the most amount of money, probably in the top 1%. But some of these companies aren't even hiring anymore. We know that 
Companies like Netflix and Stitch Fix probably aren't hiring uh, as of November 2022. But at the same time, companies like Airbnb, TikTok, DoorDash, and Nvidia will always be hiring in the current recession because of how business resilient their companies are, but also because of the fact that maybe they churn out data engineers quite quickly. I know for a fact that DoorDash needs a lot and a lot of data engineers because they keep on quitting. The field is super hot right now, and I would say that if you can to jump into data engineering, if you want more information on how to prepare for the interview check out interview query it's a site that i built and co-founded to basically help any kind of data engineer prepare for their interview and also upskill while they're in preparation to change jobs in like the next few months or maybe even a year from now so check it out uh, i'll link a resource to the salary analytics that we've done as well in the descriptions below please leave your comments and questions in the video i'd love to hear what you have to say or what you think about data engineering salaries as well so thanks for watching everyone I'm Jay, and I'll see you guys later.